not done the chickens for a while, so here we are. With the law changes about bird flu. I always dip my feet in the antibacterial stuff before I go in. Hey girls. The girls, well the older girls sleep outside. And the boys and the new girls sleep inside. Just for a bit. Come on then you lot. There's dinosaur boy. Stumpy and thingy. Normally. <laughs> yeah, Stumpy's still boss. And I don't know why. Reggie's letting him. I'm not giving you any food yet. Here, look, see. Just your sands. And you can see. So, little Stumpy there is still boss man. Normally he comes out, has something to eat, and he jumps straight on top of there to do his morning cockadoodle. Put them in on a night time just so it's quieter. <laughs> mm. You two, stop it. Right, BA, I'll take you out. They're not liking being in 24 7. The one out in here. The three amigos. This one here was ball girl. And her tail's coming in nicely. To tell them apart, she's got dark feathers on her back. And she's always straight to me for a hand feed in the morning. Will you two stop it? Hey! Roxy is a bit of a stroppy mare. Always has been for some reason. With the younger ones. There you go, big lad. Pingu's got like a higher, but you can always tell which one's cockadoodle. Pingu's got a higher pitched one. Where this dinosaur boy, Reggie, he's quiet. He doesn't really cockadoodle that much. Maybe once or twice in the morning, but he doesn't really bother. So, new government guidelines, they're not allowed out. Mine's all roofed anyway. I followed the death rules for a flock of over 50, even now I've just got a handful. Just to be safe. Make sure everyone's safe. The wire, the wild birds can't get in this one at all. It's really small holes. So, I don't, I might still cover it up. Um, unlike cheap sheeps, I've covered cheap sheeps up. I wondered if those holes were just a little bit big. You've got to completely stop any contact with other wildlife, especially birds. The roof is to stop wild bird poo getting in here and infecting them. There's a lot of wild birds been found dead with bird flu, as well as a few of the more intelligent, a few of the commercial chicken and turkey farms. So even if you've just got a couple of birds, you have to follow this new law that came in on Monday. It's not that much different to what I do anyway. <laughs> Pingu's dancing. Oh. So is Reggie. He doesn't usually dance much. It's quite funny. <coughs> there you go, son. Morning cockadoodles. Roxy, stop picking on others. She never picks on Mildred, but they were hatchlings together. They were the same uh, batch of chicks. <coughs> so we had let them out in the morning and not having George coming dancing at you. These are a lot more chilled. Aren't you? It's sad not he's not here. A rural agency went to bombering for a post mortem. Said it was likely his heart, um, a defect from when he hatched in the right neck when he was paralysed. He had internal disabilities as well. Sumbi, chill. And bomber, um, I still haven't got the certificate yet. I don't even know get one. Um, I got the phone call from Death Row. Rural Agency. It's been taken over by the Rural Agency. 
not Deathler anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're dancing. Uh, Death Hill explained he had a little slight uh, congestion in his chest. But so did she. She had a very faint wheeze on her as well. So the vet gave her antibiotics and she was fine. Whether because they were molten, they just he couldn't cope with cold as well. I don't know, but it's rural agencies, definitely explains. Absolutely nothing wrong with him. Inside or out, no possible reason they could find. The only thing they could find was slight congestion. And I'm back on a phone call. Uh, everyone's doing well. And my little buddy here. Oh, she's enjoying the sunflower seeds and wild seeds. Uh, food. Hang on, I'll come out and clean my feet. Out of the new rules. Your food storage. Now, I've got the, the list of DEFRA approved disinfectants, which I've got over there. This one is called Blitz and it's for the cow parlors, but you can use it for chickens as well. Here's a little cheap cheap. Little cheap cheap's confusing me because little cheap cheap's got a tail the shape of a hen, not a cockerel. So I'm still not quite sure. This is the net mesh I put on here because these holes were bigger. Can you see the wire? Just to totally protect cheap cheap from any wild birds that might try and get in. I'll wash all this down with disinfectant before you go in. Hey girls. All the food is kept in here so there can't be any cross-contamination with wild birds. And all the containers I use to feed them with, they stay in there too. Hey Chi Chi. There we go, so he's going to go and have his morning cock-a-doodle up at height. Even though it's... Oh no, it's Pingu. Are you going to answer him? Pingu has decided that the new girls are his buddies. He spends a lot of time with them. Rather than the others, which is quite sweet. He's decided that they're his hens. And the big lad there, he's decided that everybody's is. Can't quite work it out, but hey. Where she does loads of chest beating and wing flapping, but very cocky doodles. <laughs> Who are you dancing at? His comb's huge. Hey, right, son. Dinosaur boy. Because I've got to stay in 24-7, try and give them as much enrichment as I can. Like every now and again, I'll get some apples in. Um, I string some plants I've got with berries on from the roof. Oh there you go. Good lad. <laughs> She's miserable. Don't know why. And of course, before they start to roost, it's ham time. Give them a bit of extra energy to keep themselves warm overnight. Because Roxy, the two Georgettes, and Pepper, well Mildred, I take it she's got inside to lay. And Willow, they sleep outside on top of there. Believe it or not, while everyone else goes inside. They've not been on for a while, so I'll give you a little update. <laughs> and the new hens are looking absolutely fantastic. Hey, Chief, you're getting big. 
Hello, Chief Chief. Hey. Everyone lift this up so I can see you. Hey, Chief Chief. Same cockle, but getting the bustle of a female Orpington and the tail shape of the female, like Mildred, wherever she's gone. She must be, oh, she's there. <coughs> and the Georgia. So we'll wait and see. We'll leave the wait for a proper doodle or an egg to appear. Hey, look. <coughs> 